I'll try to keep in mind that you want a balcony as well, okay? So I'm going to start off right now quickly um, repeating those lessons from the earlier days. Uh, I'm going to start with the exterior wall quickly. Brick on metal stud. 20 feet across. 14 down. And 20 this way. 20 feet, enter, and close it. So on this application, you can press escape to get out of a tool. And what I want to do is change two of the walls to be exterior and the other two to be ex interior. Oops. Control Z. So this wall here, I want to make it to be 5 inch generic and this one as well. 5 inch generic. Okay, and I'm going to change the, the shading. Shading with edges, medium fine, this is nice. <clears throat> Just going to make a closet wall here. Four feet, two foot six, come across, yikes, escape. Control Z. Let's pick the, the appropriate wall. Should be five inch for the interior. Come across. And now I'm going to, guys, I'm going to put in the door now and then the window right after. So doors, I'm going to pick uh, 34. That's really large for a bedroom, but we'll take it. Escape. And now for windows. So I'm going to pick one. Let's see. It's 36. That's a huge window. So let's just go with that. One, two. Guys, can you take um, take a look of how I'm going to change the location of something, please? Take a look, guys. Okay. Remember how I said yesterday these are just numbers to delineate uh, the window type. But what I want to do is move this window in its location. So I need you guys looking. I know it's review, but it's important that we see this part. Okay, man, John? There you're in. <laughs> so look, you see how it's four feet from the center here? Click on this one. Is four foot six. Guys, you see the difference? So this one is six inches over than the other one, right? There's a couple things you can do. Now, now that it's selected, ladies, I need you to look this way. Okay, now that it's selected, if you press your arrow cursor down, watch how the dimension changes. You see how it's going from four, six, four, 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 five, four, 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 three, and so on, right? So watch what else I can do. I can come in here, just type in four, enter. It'll do the same thing, okay? So if we look at this door for a second, and again, I'm going to get rid of the door type. Boom. Look at this, okay? So I'm zooming in by holding down my middle scroll button. Uh, actually, scrolling. Watch this. I can move my door as well using the middle, uh, the cursors, up, down, and so on. You can't go left, right because it's embedded in the wall, okay? So that's kind of important. Second, I'm going to show you the sliding door here which I haven't shown you before so I'm gonna to go to component this is how we bring things in component load family and this time I'm gonna to go to doors and you guys want to double doors for your closet this one's actually really interesting because take a look sliding panel and I'm gonna to try to render this later so you can see what it looks like it may be glass I thought I was in doors. I guess I'm not. Okay. Escape, escape, escape. Let's go to doors. Load family doors. And it's double glass. This is kind of cool too. These ones are with glass. I like that. But these ones open outwards, right? It depends. If, if you have a sliding door or you have doors that open outwards, you choose accordingly. So this would be, um, I think it would open outwards. But down here, I believe, um, let's take a look. Sliding, let's see how this one looks. And later on, I'll show you guys how to revise the sizes and never change an existing library part. Always duplicate it and then change the size. Okay, that's just a good practice. Um, click delete that. I'm going to put my camera in and a review again from yesterday, guys. View, 3D view, camera. So I'm just time I'm going to shoot a camera from the window coming this way. Okay, click. And I'm going to change the shading 
So you see that is wood glass, right? It's nice. This door is very simple. Clearly we can change that. And you guys know that we don't have a ceiling here right now. You notice what I said yesterday, that I have a suspicion that if you just use a door right off the library, sorry, or a wall, it's 20 feet high as opposed to what you want it to be. So look here how we can change that. If I go to south elevation right now, look at these walls. They're all above 10 feet. So we didn't pay attention when we first, I wasn't actually paying attention, not we. So look, click once, drag that down, boom, right to 10. Right, that change, drag this one down to 10, and it locks onto that grid. Again, and one more, and we should be done. Okay, so if I go to the doghouse now, spin around, change the shading with edges, pretty good. And I'm going to hold shift to spin around, my middle scroll button. So there's the brick, drywall here, not bad. Now I'm going to go to, again, in the project browser. And I've noticed walking around that some of you are missing this project browser. Okay, watch. I'm going to close it right now on purpose. How do I get it back? Go ahead, Mark. Okay, I'll do that right now. I'm going to start from home. View. User interface. Very good. Project browser. Okay, let's do this one more time. You're in the home panel. You go to view. User interface. Half of you had this panel missing. Inadvertently, you may have pressed it. That's fine. So press project browser. Boom, it's here. So if I want to go to floor plan again, folks, you have to double click on level one. Okay? So I'm just going to quickly put a hardwood floor in. Home floor and I want to do something different because uh, Abby asked for a balcony opening which is a really cool idea this is a little more tricky okay so I'll do that a little later so watch this now it's asking me do you want to create a floor sure I'll pick a corner from here and come out to there and press check mark to finish it you guys know and I know that this does not look like a hardwood floor right now and yesterday I said to you guys, if you're having difficulty finding, a, uh, selecting an object, watch what you do. You hover on the edge of where multiple objects intersect, right? Press tab once, twice, until you see what you're looking for highlights itself. So watch again. Moving my mouse to this inner edge of the wall. Tab once, it picks all the walls. Tab twice, oh, there's something else. Great. Left click, now I've selected this. Okay, so here in the properties, this is where you guys were changing to a ceramic floor. I noticed somebody did that. Where, why didn't that happen? Come on. Why am I not seeing my ceramic? That's interesting. That looks like just the concrete. That, yeah, I'm going to change the, um, oh, let's go to VCT. Vinyl tiles, clearly not, but it's there. Kind of nice. Okay, so I'm just going to change mine to wood finish. Done. There it is. Okay. Anything. Uh, now let's bring in some furniture. Okay. So home, component, load family, <clears throat> furniture. For example, that bed box. Some of you like the shaker style one. Press open. Done. Now here, if you press space bar, you're able to change the orientation. Done. Yes, I'm going to hold off right now. I hope it wasn't too fast. What I'll do is I'll come back and make one that's really complicated for a balcony for Abby. Okay, let's do that. I'm going to shut this down right now.